There are two ways to go about these games against the Portland Trailblazers and the Utah Jazz. One way to look at it is to say none of this matters after the terrible week that they had last week and the level of competition that these two teams bring to the table. Both are bottom 10 in the league with a negative point differential while the Celtics are the sixth best team of all time in points differential with 11.6. You could say that even though the Seas went three and two on the trip, the total letdown against the Cavs and then the loss to the Nuggets counteracts those mediocre wins. It's not really a bad loss against the Nuggets, but given that the Nuggets are the reigning champs and know what it takes to get over the hump, it would have been great to have the, those games. You can click the link in the description below to watch the full report I did on those two games. But back to the Blazers and Jazz. You could also look at these two games from a different lens and say that these games allowed multiple starters to rest and recover from minor bumps and bruises. Jason Tatum has yet to sit though in the last couple of weeks. It would be nice to have him sit sooner rather than later against some of these weaker opponents coming up, but these two games did allow JT to get some offensive reps. These two teams gave him whatever he wanted, and he made good use of it, scoring 38 points in the Jazz game while finding his teammates. Without help from the full starting five, Tatum usually has to do most of the heavy lifting, 